So I'm just doing this read. I probably won't post this, but this is... <sighs> the Kylie Rodney situation's been playing on my mind a little bit. And I feel like I want to look into it. I pulled some cards while she was missing. Um, it did indicate a body of water. It did indicate... Um, pulled oracle cards so mushroom came out um helm which is a boat helm so water it was indicating water to me a body of water but also there there is um with helm there's um a nod to a leader or someone being in charge um which led me to believe that somebody who is taking the lead in something may know something more about what actually happened or be somehow the cause of what happened uh brick came out also and with brick this is about and with brick this is about um stability but also i got from it like kind of sinking like a brick that's it that's the feeling that i got from it <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry this is getting on my throat <laughs> And from it, I got me, you know, there was obviously drug use there. I feel like there was drug use there. I feel like perhaps from that reading, I thought that perhaps she'd partake in something that she hadn't maybe done before. Maybe she hadn't done it before. Maybe she was doing it just to kind of fit in with the crowd or was pushed or encouraged to. Um, she had someone that she was relying on or who was supposed to be there for her, who may have bailed out and left her in a situation whereby things got out of control for her. Um... And I'll be honest, I feel like maybe Sammy didn't tell her. I'm taking them ones. I feel like maybe Sammy didn't tell her that she was leaving. I feel like she was bailed out on. And that's kind of where my energy's gone with it. So we're getting this idea of leader again and we've got this page of wands so the page of wands the hierophant the ten of swords queen of cups the four of wands Three pentacles. So I feel like this page of cups, uh, this page of one, sorry, is is kind of, I feel like she's somebody who was um, out for an adventure, thought she was going out having fun. This is something she's probably really looking forward to and it's something where she's kind of threw caution to the wind because when we think of the page of wands, this is someone who um, acts first, thinks later, sort of. And I don't feel like this was her natural energy. I feel like this is something because when we think of the pages, this is the stepping into. So this may be that she was stepping into an energy um, of trying to be a bit more fun or trying to have a bit more fun or trying to let loose, which may not have been the norm for her. Um in the respect of like kind of where she found herself and what they were doing and the kind of things that they were getting up to. I think maybe she's drank before. I think maybe she, you know, has had parties on a lower level, but I feel like this may have been a bit adult for her. I feel like this would have been next level, like like rave level, you know, where when I mean, you think of like um, youngsters going, getting out and going into pubs, like getting into pubs or getting a fake IDs to go into pubs and stuff, I feel like this is stepping up a next level. I feel like this is like kind of getting into the drug scene and 
all that so i feel like it was her stepping into something that was new to her and kind of going with it and throwing caution to the wind and not really thinking about the actions and perhaps especially if she was taking drugs and like that mushroom car just flashing in my head again i feel like that perhaps maybe because she'd taken something or maybe taste, tasted or taken a little bit of something and it didn't affect her straight away that she probably thought it was okay and that it wasn't that bad so it may have led her to go on to take more of the thing um so there's things like that that are floating around in my head now with this hierophant here this is again a leader this is like someone following kind of blindly following um someone that they look up to in some way, someone that they feel is going to be um, taking care of them, someone that's doing something for their greater good or someone that's encouraging something, like as if they're experienced in it and they know and that they will be able to, you know, they'll be in control of the situation. So there's that kind of feeling there. Now, there's something that's gone on while out at this party. I feel like out at this party, especially with this Queen of Cups here and the fact that she's looking away from it, I feel like there may have been a fight or a disagreement, um, or perhaps that Carly wasn't um, part of the crowd. She may have been, you know, when, when it, things like people saying, oh, she was drunk, she was stumbling about the place. Um, I've been in positions when I was younger where I've been out places and it's been too much for me. Um, and... I've ended up getting into situations where I've been absolutely wasted and making an absolute fool of myself, um, doing stupid things and people were just taking the piss out of me, laughing at me, you know, like kind of... Instead of helping me, instead of, instead of helping me or instead of kind of looking out for me or saying, look, you know, this is a bit much for her, or obviously this is not working for her, um, people were kind of taking the piss out of me and playing the situation up. And I, and, I, and I get that kind of anxiety that I felt after that fact is the kind of anxiety I'm feeling in this situation. I feel like maybe... Um, and when Sammy says that they split away from each other, I feel like maybe she might have took her to try and calm her down a bit, but then felt embarrassed of her in some respects, and that's why she ditched her after they were in the car. I feel like they may have actually left her in the car. I don't feel like she returned to the party with them. She may have returned herself after. I feel like she may have... Re I don't feel like she returned with them. I feel like they put her in the car and ditched out because when i think on it like sammy had said that she got out of the car and went and found a new ride she went off they went back to the party and she went to find a new ride so it makes me feel like she was possibly put in the car she got back out of the car she didn't return to the party with sammy so she may have been back out in the party at a later time but i feel like she was put in the car because she was becoming a liability um <clears throat> I feel like maybe they thought she was becoming a bit of a liability and they've tried to kind of put her in the car and leave her there. But she's got back out and perhaps people were taking the piss a little bit. Taking the piss and taking advantage. But this Ten of Swords, I do, I feel like people are taking the piss and taking the advantage. Um, I feel like she probably was highly intoxicated. Um, if she wasn't intoxicated, if it wasn't drink, then I feel like she was messed up in some respect and people were, people were kind of poking at her for it. Is the only, That's how it's coming in my mind. It's like the kind of... They see a vulnerable and and they they um taking stabs that's that's the um that's what's going through my mind and now that's a metaphorical obviously i don't believe she was being stabbed um this is metaphorical i believe that she was in a incapacitated state and people were taking advantage of that fact Or somebody was in an incapacitated state and they were having an advantage taken out of them and she's reacted to it. It could be that as well. 
or she's seen something that she didn't want to see. And I'm saying that because of this here, this this free. When we think for the three of pentacles, we usually see this scene in the background where someone's um, creating something, and they've got the other people there kind of discussing it and working together and whatnot. But here, it's almost like someone here is painting, they creating an image of that. It's like they're looking back at it. It's like they're watching something and then painting the image that they're looking at. She may have witnessed something. She may have witnessed someone having advantages taken out of them. But in the same breath, now I'm still being pulled back to the fact that they were taking stabs at her. I feel like she may have been in a bad way and they were just taking advantage of that fact. And that's not to say that they were doing nasty shit to her. They just might have had or been encouraging her to do stupid shit, to embarrass herself. Um, it could be something like that. I feel like this Queen of Cups is an older female. I feel like this is an older female. I don't feel like this is Summit. I feel like this is an older female still. Someone who's not looking at this situation. They're looking away from the situation. This may be somebody that's helped out with something after the fact. I feel like they have an emotional tie to somebody in situation. But why do I feel like if they know something and they know, they know, it's almost like they know what's going on, but they're turning a blind eye to it. But I feel like they've helped after the fact because the Queen of Cups energy is a caring energy. It's someone that um, can be very protective. Who may throw... Oh, I don't know if you can see here. Yeah. Like in this mirror, there's there's a, another figure in the mirror here. So it's like you see the back of her head, but then you see a, mirror, a face there. I feel like this is an older female that's got involved with something after the fact. The Queen of Cups energy is somebody that cleans up after someone. It is someone that will can be manipulated into cleaning up after someone. And I feel like because the, the, the energy of this deck, I feel like it's somebody older that's manipulated, been manipulated into cleaning up something after the fact or taking care of or, or dealing with something after the fact to kind of help another person. Somebody's gone to them and spoke to them. Somebody's approached them about something and they've got involved after the fact. So they know something, but they're not looking at it. They're not, say, they're not saying what they've seen or saying what they've been told. They're acting as if it didn't happen. But I feel like something's been cleaned up after. Why do I feel like something's been cleaned up after the fact? Cleaning up. That's what I'll just keep getting in my head. Cleaning up after the fact. Cleaning up after the fact. And four and three. I mean, could this be saying it's someone that's 43 years old? Sorry, I'm headbutting the... See, my head's just gone into a weird space now. I feel like there's somebody that's older that's cleaned up something after the fact. Somebody that's known something. Somebody that's come and told them something and they've done something to try and protect, to try and be protective of someone, I feel like someone's cleaned something up after the fact. Cleaning after the fact. In my head, in my head, I was like 43. Are they 43 years old? Or was it like 4.30 in the morning? You know, what, what, why? Is, I don't know where my head's going with this, but this is like 
trying to make you when we think of the four of wands the four of wands is about um creating stability and it? it's about finding a place of stability and being able to rest so it's almost like i feel like someone's done something after the fact to make the scene perfect to make the scene perfect why am i saying that I feel like someone's done something after the fact to make and somebody else knows somebody else knows about this somebody may have been listening into the conversation that's gone on so somebody else knows so there's an older woman there's an older woman cleaning up after the fact why why i would just keep saying and my head just keeps saying to be cleaning up after the fact trying to present <sighs> try to present a perfect image somebody knows about this somebody's privy to this information Somebody's privy to this information. Somebody's pri privy to the information that something is being displayed or created to display an image of something else. Cleaning up after the fact. Where am I getting that from? What, what is that? My mind just won't let go of that. Cleaning up after the fact. 43. Cleaning up after the fact. <sighs> cleaning my head just keeps going with cleaning up after the fact right let me find another deck so I'm gonna pull this one The start of the night for Kyla. How did the start of the night go for Kyla? What's the energy around the start of the night? So I don't know if she was connecting with someone there. I don't know whether she was meant to be meeting someone there. Um, I feel like it was a slow start tonight. The Sun of Pentacles, this is that the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there's a slow start to the night. I don't feel like... I don't feel like... The reports that she was drunk when she got there, and if she was drunk when she got there, that would mean that she was driving there drunk. I think there was a slow start tonight. I don't know if she was meant to be meeting somebody there or she was connecting with somebody there, but this is like this slow start to the night, but with the moon here. This is about the unknown. So I feel like when she's gone there, she put it, it, I feel like that's indicating that she wasn't expecting what she arrived at. I don't think it was kind of what she was thinking it was gonna be because when we think of the Sun of Pentacles energy, 
this is someone that's quite stable, someone that's quite grounded, and um, they may be walking into the unknown. So I feel like at the start of the night, it was a slow start to that. I don't feel like she was drunk when she got there. The, the people saying she was drunk at half past ten at night. I feel like that's when she got there and she wasn't drunk when she got there. So to be falling and stumbling about at 10 o'clock at night, I don't think that's the truth. I mean, there was a slow start to the night. I think she's someone that's quite sensible and she was walking into something that she wasn't prepared for. Something that she just, she didn't know. It was like kind of, it was presented as one thing and, and perhaps the whole thing was just blown into something completely different. How is she feeling at the start of the night? I don't think she was. I don't think she was drinking. I don't think she was drinking before she got there. I don't think she turned up there drunk. I feel like she was meant to be the one that was kind of in charge. Or the ride home, I feel like, yeah, the designated driver. So I feel like maybe she was the one that was trying to stay in control or not get drunk or not, you know, have a good time, but not um, partake in things. I feel like when she got there, she wasn't intending to partake in things. Um, she was intended to be quite solid. She was meant to be the driver home. This tells me she's quite a sensible person. You've got the Son of Pentacles and the Mother of Pentacles here. So the Son of Pentacles is someone that goes out and does. Mother of Pentacles is someone that's quite grounded, though. But she's, you know, she will still kind of partake in things, but she does so in a sensible way. She's not um, someone that's going to go into something quite stupid. I feel like when she got there, I don't feel like she was drunk, as, as the claims have been stated. Got this ten of swords again. <sighs> Was she trying to keep a straight head when she got there? Was she trying to be the sensible one? Was she one that was trying to kind of keep keep herself? Maybe have a drink or two, but then give herself enough time to be able to like kind of let it wear off and go home. So I think she went there with good intentions. Was it ten of swords? Was she was she spikes or something? Was she spiked? Was she given something without her knowledge? So what happened when Sammy went to the car with her? What happened when Sammy went to the car with her, please? What happened when Sammy went to the car with her? I'm thinking, I'm feeling like she wasn't drunk when she got there. I feel like she was quite level-headed. I feel like she was all right when she got there. I feel like she's been spiked somewhere along the way. Something's gone on. I feel like then she was in a position where she was maybe not meaning to make a fool of herself, but kind of um, acting out of sorts because perhaps she's been spiked. Acting out of character because she's been spiked. I feel like there's something... There's something in that because I, f I f yeah, just two ten of swords. I feel there's something in that. So something's happened when she's got there. She may have been spiked. So perhaps she was trying to keep a level head. People were like, kind of just all oh, get her, get her wasted. Um, because with the strength card here, what happened when she went back to the car? I feel like I do. I feel like she was put in the car to. Perhaps she was acting out of sorts act in some kind of way and she was put in the car 
to kind of let it wear off to let it to let her kind of either sit it out or sleep it off or to move her away from the situation i feel like maybe she was acting out of character and because of this she was put in the car I feel like she may have wanted to actually go home. I feel like she may have wanted to go home. I feel like she might have wanted to leave. I'm starting to feel like perhaps it wasn't her that sent the message to her mum. So she may have been put into the car to sleep something off and they've realised that she should have been home by a certain time and they've messaged her mum. Um, and left her in the car. I feel like she. I feel like she was in a bad way. She got put in the car, and I think she was left in the car. I think they messaged her mum with a sty. I think they were trying to get her to sober up. Um, maybe they realised that shit was getting out of control, and they were trying to get her to sober up. what happened after Sammy left or split away because she's saying she didn't leave she said we went back to the party so what happened when they split away from each other at the party so with the father of ones reversed we have the seven of swords Bonds. So the King of Wands reversed is not someone that's particularly honest. It's someone that kind of drives off emotions. I feel like she was embarrassing people. I feel like maybe she may have been making a bit of a show of herself, which wasn't wouldn't have been her fault because I feel like maybe she was spiked. And then she was put in the car. So when you see all these swords there, you see them all sticking into the ground, they're all going the same way, and then you've got one sword that's kind of sticking out. Um, I feel like she was not fitting in with the crowd. I feel like she was put in the car to sober up or to be put away from a situation to stop her embarrassing someone. I feel like she may have been embarrassing someone. Or she may have been drawing attention that was taking attention from away from somebody else. And she was pulled away from the situation. Perhaps, you know, when you're drunk can you, um, or if you've had drugs or anything and you get that bit more confident, you may be putting yourself out there more, she may have been drawing attention away from someone because you've got this idea of someone wanting to keep something to themselves. 
she may have been put in the car to be moved out of the way or to um, remove her from being a distraction from somebody else. So let's get to Sammy. When did Sammy go home? We did Sammy tell Kyla she was leaving. I don't believe she did. I don't believe she did. And I think that's why it's weighing on her. I feel like that's why she's had the guilt and gone out doing like these search parties and everything. I don't think she did. I mean, you've got all these swords looming over this firebug and it's almost like she was left to kind of fend for herself and she was incapacitated, so she didn't know how to get herself out of the situation. Um, I don't, I, I think, I don't, I don't believe that Sammy told her that she was leaving or that she loved her and that she was going and she had a new ride home. I think perhaps Sammy was off with somebody else, a guy perhaps. This could be the person that she was trying to distract away from Kyla. So maybe this person was showing interest in Kyla. I keep getting this feeling of Kylie being put away from the rest, being put away from the rest. She's out there on her own um, because she was taking some kind of high ground. Perhaps she was not happy about the fact that she realised she'd been spiked or perhaps she was just causing a bit of drama or perhaps she was causing a bit of discord. Um, oh, I don't... I, I don't believe Sammy told her that she was going. I don't believe she went and found her, sort her out. I think if Kylie was embarrassed now, if she was pissed up, if she was um, off her face on drugs, if she was in a bad way and she was being embarrassing, I feel like she'd have been swerving her and I feel that's why they split up. After the car, I don't think she just they split up. I think Kylie was left in the car. Kylie may have rejoined the party again at some point, but I don't... I, I feel like it's more that like kind of being like out of it and being like oh what the fuck's going on let me you know hear the noise and go towards the noise i feel like she may have rejoined the party at some point i don't think sammy i don't think sammy interacted with her again after she dumped her in the car i think she may have been swerving her at the party i don't think she told her that she was going i don't believe she told her that she was going I mean, there's something really suspicious around that situation. You've got seven of ones, eight of pentacles, the high priestess, which is quite literally the, the moon and the reflection of the moon and the third eye and the water. She knows something about, I feel like Kyla, I feel like Sammy knows something about Kyla being in the water. I feel like an older female is aware and there is somebody else. There's another person who is aware. Kylie's right, so Kylie apparently started driving home. Tell me about Kylie's drive home. Tell me about Kylie's drive home. 
Oh my god, Tyler's drive home, please. I'm not convinced she was alone when she was driving home. I'm not convinced she was alone when that car. I don't. I'm not convinced she drove that cow into the water. I'm not convinced she was alone in that car. I'm not convinced at all, not not at all whatsoever, when that car was moved from its parking spot. I don't believe she was in the car alone. I think we're going to find something out. something that we're going to be fine now. I think someone's going to come forward with what they know. I think someone's heard something that's gone on. Some, but there's an older female cleaning up after the fact. Cleaning up after the fact. Someone knows something, someone's going to come forward with something. They may be nervous about coming forward with it, but I feel a lot of it they're going to want to speak the truth. They may be fearful about opening their mouth about something because it's going to get them cut off from a lot of people. It may be causing a situation where they are cut out or they're ostracised in some way. But I feel like ultimately they're going to want or need to speak the truth. It's almost like the guilt is can't they, they can't cope with the guilt is anymore. But they're going to be, I feel like someone's going to come forward and say something. It's going to bring, highlight something. It's going to bring something to the forefront. I think this is going to not sit well with a lot of people. They're going to be kind of pushed out with the Five of Pentacles here. I feel like they're going to be pushed out. I feel like they're going to be ostracised in some way. I feel like more people than just these know. But I feel like there's an older woman cleaning up after the fact. Clean up after the fact. 43 is sticking in my mind. But I feel like this person's all me going to be speaking their truth. I feel like they're going to get it out there because even if it's going to cause this this um, disconnect for them, even if it's going to cause them to be out in the cold, I feel like it may cause them to be out in the cold in a group that they were a part of or in a connection on connections that they were part of. However, I feel like with this Five of Pentacles, there's other people that are are going to be. Um, you know, I don't feel like people are going to be that pissed off that they didn't come forward before. There may be a legitimate reason 
they may be really scared, they may be young with themselves, and um, there may be a legitimate reason why they've not come forward before, and it could be because of the wrath of others. Um, and I feel like it could be because of the wrath of others, but I feel like this person, when they come forward, they're going to be embraced by new people. I feel like there's people there that can help, that can support them through it, so that it's not like they're going to be kind of ostracised and solo on their own as they may fear and i feel like they're gonna they're, they're gonna be able to work through this what they know what they've done and you know things will change for them things will turn in their favor there's some there things will turn in their favor there's we're gonna find out what's happened here because somebody's gonna come forward somebody's gonna come forward with this information there's an older woman who knows something somebody who knows or overheard this conversation i feel like she was definitely spiked may have been very very incapacitated and had people just taking the piss out of her a bit i feel like she was put in a car because she was in a state and left in the car because she was in a state i don't feel like she was on her her own at all i do not feel like she was on her own when she was in that car because the drive home, it's almost as if it, it didn't happen. It's almost as if it didn't happen. Well, the date's the 30th of, 30th of August, so I'll be um, interested to see what comes out about this over the next like week or so, because I'm sure they've probably done the autopsy by now and they'll find out all the information. I don't feel like she could have drove herself home. I don't feel like she could have drove herself home. So message from Spirit, message from Kyla, if she's strong enough to come through and give a message. So we've got Dark Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Mother of Wands. Now I identify with the Mother of Wands and I feel like this message is for me. Daughter of Pentacles, I feel as Kyla. I feel like she's telling me that I am on the right. I, I, I feel like she's telling me that I'm on the right track here, that something's going to come. But it's ultimately, you know, for as much heartache as there has been, something's going to come and it's going to be... Bringing kind of some kind of emotional peace to people because they're going to find out the truth. In death, I feel like she's had a reunion with others. So I don't know if she's had family members or friends that have passed on before her. I feel like in death, it's almost like there's this circle of life. Um, even though we die, we kind of go down, you know, it's like we go back, we go back to earth, we go back to um, earth and we become spirit again. I feel like she's reconnected with people that may have passed on before her. Um, I feel like she's at peace, she's resting, she's at peace. She's away from the drama. She's away from everything that's going on. I feel like in passing, although it's tragic and although it's something that we don't like to look at or see or acknowledge, you know, it is. it comes for us all in some way, shape or form and it should never come for someone so young, but it does. Um, I feel like she's made peace with it. Um, she's found something 
on the other side she may reconnect with a past loved one so it's almost like this reunion type feeling on the other side um so she's at peace she's quite content with where she is she's quite happy with where she is at the moment um i feel like she will be obviously when she gets laid to rest she will have a eternal space but i feel like she's quite happy with her reality of the moment and i feel like she's at rest she's at rest now she's at peace and she's connected possibly with three other people and you've got the four four little birds i feel like she's reconnected with on the other side with family with friends i feel like she's her soul's kind of gone back to so she's not on her own basically is what i'm feeling she's not on her own she's quite content where she is although she would rather have not been where she is at the moment she's quite content because something met she was met on the other side hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave that one there.